Last time on Tim Plays a Game. We are continuing on with our video of the Ruin, Treasures of Ruin. Uh, yeah, I think the Dust Ball during, at night is, is like four times the power. I think Ultra Ball is about the same. It might be three times or four times the power. I'm not sure. They might have changed it. I think Ultra Ball is like having better results though. Okay, case in point. <laughs> He's asleep. I'm at full health. He's at way less health. Get caught. Get in the ball. Get in there, man. That dang it. <laughs> Get in the ball. One wiggle, two wiggle, three wiggles. Yes, okay. This is where you want it. He's in the red. He's asleep. Let's ultra ball this thing and put this uh, this put this whole thing to rest. There's one wiggle, two wiggle, three wiggle. Yes! Haha! -ha. We caught them all. <laughs> caught all the legendaries. Yeah, that's all the legendaries there are in this game right now, just five of them. Four of them are those ruined Pokemon, so... What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game, here with Pokemon Violet, playing on Nintendo Switch. Tonight is actually going to be the final video in the Pokemon Violet uh, saga. <laughs> I've done 35 episodes, I've run out of stuff, we caught all the legendaries. I haven't completed the Pokedex yet, but I'm not even going to bother with that, that's... <laughs> it, it, it's just, uh, yeah, I've, we've caught the legendary ones, we've caught the important ones, so... But this one's going to be about the Terra Raid Battles. We haven't really touched on them a lot, they're kind of a big deal in the game. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to get one Pokemon ready for the Terra Raid Battles. Truthfully, Ice, any, any Pokemon you want. Uh, Iron Hands, though, works the best, I'm going to be showing that Pokemon. Yeah, this one right here, This if you have Pokemon Violet, Iron Hands is probably your best bet. Uh, it's got good HP, good attack stat, not so much special defense or speed stat, but speed stat is, is it doesn't matter much in the Terra Raid Battles. HP and either physical attack or special attack are best, but you also want to worry about the defense points too. Defense and special defense. Anyway, so if you buy, if by now you probably have a good amount of money, you can uh, just go and buy what you need. That's This is like the fastest way. You can just buy proteins and uh, we're going to buy protein and HP up for him. So you only need 25 of each. Actually, 26 of each, but it's cheaper to do 25 of each. So, yeah, we have eight already, so... And these are expensive, though, so you should have... But you probably by now have accumulated good wealth in-game. And also, probably got some of the feathers, too. So let's see what we need. We're gonna need, and by the feathers I mean, where are they? Muscle feather, uh, health feather, yeah. All right, so let's feed him all 25 of these proteins. That's gonna boost his attack stat up. Feed him all 25 of the HP up. That's gonna boost his HP up. So basically, with each one of those, the uh, proteins and the HP up, that gives him 10 effort values of points. What does that mean? Uh, every Pokemon can have uh, up to 252 effort value points. This will boost their stats. Now, I just basically did... Uh, no, no, I have... Sorry, I did that wrong. Uh, 500. <laughs> Let's try this again. Each Pokemon can have up to 500 and... 500... I think I'm... I'm trying, yeah, 508. Or, yeah, 500... Yeah, 500, 510... Uh, p uh, stats, uh, stat boosts. These, uh, effort value points, that's it. These, uh, irons, the ca carbos, calciums, they all, each one provides 10. You can, uh, you can also use, uh, certain equip items like, uh, power belt, and then battle with them to increase that stat, but this is the fastest way I found. Not the cheapest way, but the fastest. Uh, <laughs> uh, so each one of those, so we gave 25 to eat of each to, uh, iron hands. That boosted his attack stat up. His, 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 uh, his attack uh, effort values are at 250, and his HP special value uh, as HP effort values are at 250. So we're gonna give him a, two muscle feathers. These provide one point each. That puts him at 252. And then health feather puts him at 252. Okay, so now he's at. As much health as we can give him, as much attack stat as we can give him. And then you got basically uh, four more points to play around with. 
I'm just going to give him an iron, and that should cap that off. Yeah, so, and if you try to give him anything else, it'll say it won't have any effect. So that's basically what we have here is an Iron Hands. And you can kind of see by this. An Iron Hands whose uh, HP stat is 252. That's maxed out. His attack stat, his attack effort values are 252. That's maxed out. And he has basically six... Uh, defense points in effort values, which only really boosts his defense up slightly. But it's kind of the way you want to go. Again, this one's going to be mainly for uh, terror raid battles. Also, I've given him the held item uh, booster energy. Uh, energy, uh, an item held by a Pokemon with certain abilities. This energy that fills the capsule, the strength of the Pokemon. Uh, boost the street, yeah, boost the, boost the highest stat, which would be his attack stat, so... Whenever we send him out in battle, he's going to get a turn zero attack boost. But we can make him better. <laughs> yeah, we also want to level him up as much as we can. So we also have accumulated a bunch of candies. Small ones aren't going to do much. Medium, small, yeah. Uh, we're not going to give him wild charge. It's a good attack, but when you attack terror raid Pokemon with, with recoil uh, attacks, they... You're going to take a lot of damage. They have a ridiculous amount of HP. It's not worth it. So we're just going to boost him up as much as we can get him. Close combat. I'm not even crazy about close combat. Not on him. Because it lowers his defense and that's kind of needed in uh, the upcoming battles. But if, if he's at level 65. This will work for now. We're going to be doing like mainly smaller battles. And as we go, we'll get more experienced candies, so we can boost him up even more. <laughs> Let's talk about attacks. Crap, I wanted to actually get him up a little higher. <laughs> you know, this this will work. teach him Thunder Punch. I'm not sure if I have that TM. Yeah, we want to, we want to teach him electric, physical electric attacks and a physical fighting attack. I think Drain Punch would be the way to go. I know I have one. I have to have one. No, I'm out to craft another one. Yep. Yeah. This is where crafting TMs becomes important. <laughs> Thunder Punch. Yep. And truth, truth be told, I saved my LP for crafting TMs, because... Right, let's teach this one to Iron Hands. <coughs> I'll put it, like, right here. You want to put, like, the most used attacks near the top in Terror Raid Battles, because you're going you're gonna to have to be quick here. This is turn-based, but it's also part of it's time-based. That one, and I hope we can learn Drain Punch... Ah, oh, we need crow gunks. All right, we'll watch out for that one. But I know where we, I know where we can go to get crow gunk poison, and we can also use this time to level him up a little bit too. There we go. I'll just let uh, uh, Iron Hands go crazy on these things, which is also a good way to level them up too. Okay, you got everything you need to make your TM and the watch list? Cool. But, what the heck, let's just, you know, keep it Let's just get some more. <laughs> Go crazy, buddy. God, you stop. We won't stop. We created a monster. <laughs> the monster won't stop. He'll just keep ravaging, killing everything, and it's... Okay, it stopped. <laughs> Alright, let's make that TM. Drain Punch, yes. Got everything we need. The Crow Gun Poison, the Mankey Fur, and the Crab Brawler Shell. Yes. And we're going to teach that to Iron Hands, and this is going to be his best attack. Because it, uh, it, uh, it uh, does a lot of damage, and it also uh, revives, er, yeah, it, uh, helps him regain HP. 
All right, so we got that. Um, I also want to teach it play rough. Might not have that one. I think I do. It's a fairy type. I do have that one. Okay, I don't have the ingredients, but I have I have the actual TM. So that's good too. And really, you want like you want to start off with one good Pokemon to do raid battles with, so you can get like a crazy amount of items as the game continues. And that'll be his fairy type attack. We can use that to take down dragons, um, <clears throat> other fighting types. And dark types. Oh, well, that's, well, we can just use fighting types, but uh, yeah, there's also other attacks you can learn. You can learn Heavy Slam, which will be a steel type. I think you can learn Earthquake. But uh, for, my, for the life of me, I think that uh, Play Rough is the better one. And then we also want to give it like a stat boosting attack. A lot of people go uh, swear by Belly Drum, but it doesn't learn that until level 84, so in the meantime. We're going to teach it, let's see, what's the better attack? Swords Dance? Yeah, there we go, we can teach it Swords Dance. There we go. So yeah, it's not quite Belly, it's not quite Belly Drum, but at least he hasn't cut his HP in half. And since he has the, uh... Booster energy on it, so he'll have after that after that sword stance, he'll have plus three attack stat boost. Okay, I think he's not he's not as powerful as I would like, but he's good enough. I don't want to waste any rare candies on him just yet. So yeah, I don't want to waste those. We'll be getting candies from this from these battles, so hopefully we start off with some easy battles. And you can play these uh, with people, if, you, if you're connected to online on uh, Nintendo Switch Online, you can actually play with it. You can actually do these terror raid battles with others. Here we go, a three-star one. This will be an easy one. And for the heck of it, we'll just do this one alone. If we get a four-star one, I might have to, I might need help. <laughs> right, here we go. This is a flying-type Steenie. I think it can learn acrobatics, so... That might be pretty useful. I might, I might, I might keep that one. <laughs> so the Pokemon you get from these Terra Ray battles have way better... Oh, it has Oblivious. Uh, uh, that, that works, too. I would love... Well, I think... I'd rather have... To have I'd rather have Queen Lee Majesty. But that's only... He only gets that when it evolves into Serena. So, Sword Stance first turn. We already got boost from its booster energy. And I just got two more attack boosts from Sword Stance. And now it's using Teeter Dance, so this sucks. <laughs> That's okay, we just need one attack to land. And that one attack is Thunder Punch. Thankfully the Pokemon, I'm, the, the NPCs actually have decent Pokemon. Against three stars, three and four stars. Right, using them against five stars, though it becomes impossible. Okay, the three star ones go down easily, that's good. Don't you don't need to use anything too extravagant. You can just use a regular Pokeball and catch them. Any ball you throw, I've, yeah, any ball you throw at them will catch. 100% catch rate. <laughs> also, another thing, you can use Electric Terrain to move Electric Terrain on Iron Hands to trigger his ability and power up his Electric type moves for five turns. But really, booster. If you have booster energy, I recommend using that, and then just use Swords Dance to power them up even further. You get more power, and you'll waste the same amount of turns. All right. So from this one, we got the Steenie, but the main thing is the rewards: the Terra shards, the can, the candies. Yeah, we got mainly small candies and two medium candies, but that's okay. We do enough of these; it won't matter. To, it'll they'll build up. Got Steenie finally, so that, yeah, that's also helping us complete the Pokedex. This is like the better way to complete the Pokedex right here is just to do these battles. 
Also, I want to try to get to a five-star raid. That's going to be the big goal tonight. <laughs> it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult because the five-star ones, I think, are level 45, which doesn't sound like a lot. I might be wrong on that. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but they are pretty powerful. I might need help online. <laughs> I want to just take him, take these guys, battle them with wild Pokemon. It's a good way to level them up real fast. All right, here's another three-star battle. This one's a Pikachu with an Electric Terra type. Yeah, pretty easy. You can, you can pretty much find them anywhere, but this one's got to have better stats. I might catch. Actually, I'm not gonna catch it. Yeah, we're just trying to get rewards and through experience candies and stuff. I don't even think I need the Swords Dance on this one. I think I'd probably just take it out with good, good quick, good, good swift drain punch. It's faster than my freaking uh, Iron Hands. Not stronger, though. Yeah, that's a good amount of damage right there. <laughs> you want to go through the one-hit kill if you can, so you can avoid the, bar the uh, damage barrier. You'll trigger a damage barrier like half when it's like near half or less dead. Uh, usually on the four, on the four stars, four, anything four star or higher. On this, on this, on something small like this, nah. And you don't have to catch every one of them. You can just let this one go if you don't want it. Again, just the rewards. <laughs> Not much on that one, but we did get uh, mushrooms. We got the. Swift, we got the feathers, we got electric, the terror shards. The mushrooms you can sell. Yeah, the mu tiny mushroom, big mushroom you can sell for money. Swift feather, you can use those later to power to power up effort values. And terror shards, if you're trying to get electric terror type of anything, that's the way to go. Truth be told, I would rather do a fighting terror type uh, iron hands. So you can use drain punch more effectively. Drain punch is going to be your main go-to move with this. This one's electric terror type, so. But you know what? That works too. I mean, electric terror type, yeah. I cut that. We can use that defensively to cut away some of his weaknesses that he has when, when he's fighting type, like psychic type attacks, fairy type attacks. Yeah. This next one is actually a five-star terror battle. It's nothing spectacular. It's Delibird. It's actually pretty weak, but it has normal type, so it'll be easy for us to defeat. But I did, but just to be safe, I got help online <laughs> from other people. Another Iron Hands, a Maradon user, and for the heck of it, a uh, King Gambit user. Alright. Uh, Brick Boost's attack. And the Swords Dance 2. Using Blizzard, it missed. So everyone usually powers up on the first turn. Now we can wail on him. Delibird is present. Doesn't affect Iron Hands. <laughs> no dice. As you can see, there's a noticeable difference now between the five stars and the three stars. Yeah. He's got the shield up now. This is the damage shield I was talking about. But he's mostly dead anyway, so we can just continue wailing on him. Here's the thing I hate, he nullifies stat changes at that point, when he gets too low, and then sometimes they'll remove negative effects from themselves, but they can, they can only do that to one time to my knowledge, so. So yeah, once they do the shield and they have the remove all effects from your side, then they have the remove negative effects from, your, from their side, that's basically all they can do. I can Swords Dance now. I think he's only using Present, Present and Blizzard. Yeah, but we shouldn't have too much of a problem going forward. I don't know why he used Hyper Beam. Whatever, don't question it. <laughs> yeah, some of the people online when they use questionable attacks don't worry too much about it. Just be smart. <laughs> All right, it's dead. This was an e This was probably one of the easier five-star raids we can do. And why not? Capture it. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. 
We did have a big, uh, Della Bird event a couple weeks ago, so... Yeah, I'm surprised we were able to get four people for this one. <laughs> I think I needed that for the Pokedex anyway. Yeah. And look at this. We got large candies now, extra large candies. Wow, look at all them candies. Feel like I'm at a dang candy store with all them these dang candies. <laughs> Ooh, and a Jolly Mint too, nice. Ooh, I think I did I forget to change I should I should have changed the nature on him too. <laughs> That's one thing I made a mistake on. I didn't. I didn't bottle cap him at all. His stats were pretty. Okay, were okay. They're not spectacular. I don't want to waste bottle caps on him. At least not now. <clears throat> yeah. And we already had Dillabird. That's a five star. So. Yeah, let's just take a look at some of the things we've caught already. The. Uh, Steeny, the Della Bird. Okay, the Stella Bird was 75. My bad. I thought they were 45 now. Yeah, 35 for the three stars. I think the four stars are 45 and the five stars are 75. Yeah, I gotta level him up more. <laughs> so what stats does he have? This is his defense is good, but I would rather give him like a higher attack stat. Probably Adamant Nature would be the best bet. So I think I actually have. Something to fix that. Where is it? No, I don't have an adamant mint. <laughs> no adamant. So until I get that, we can still level them up, though. That's the best thing. As we've cut, since we've caught a lot of candies, we got a lot of candies already. We can just keep feeding him. <laughs> Feed me more. Feed him more. Stuff him full. There we go. Put him at level seventy. No. And we got an extra large candy. That's my 72. Okay. So now he should fare a little bit better in some of these uh, more difficult raids. And really, you can keep doing this. You can keep doing Terra Raid battles, leveling up that one Pokemon until it becomes super strong. Then you can start on another one, keep leveling that one up until it becomes super strong, and then you'll have like a whole army of uh, different Pokemon you can use for different Terra Raid battles. And just keep on improving them, improving their level, improving their stats, give them different attacks. Really, it's all trial and error. Alright, we'll do another three star one. This one is for Pelper, three star, normal terror type. Not that great, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. I think I need it for the decks. We need to complete the Pokedex, go ahead and catch it. I could probably use it defensively. But yeah, truth be told, I can't think of any. Offensive reason you have a normal terror type uh, Pelipper. Swords dance. I can probably knock this thing out in one shot. And if you have uh, CPU players uh, or NPC, yeah, the NPC players, uh, they will. One of them will uh, defense buff on the first turn. All right. <laughs> There we go. This is too easy now. Three stars are too easy. <laughs> we need to graduate to the four stars. Yeah, but you want to basically get him up to level 100. <laughs> if you're going to be taking on anything like five star or higher. I'm not going to catch him. Probably needed him too. Oh well. <laughs> what are the rewards? Candies, pearls. Yeah, you can also, yeah, these, you'll get like either pearls, nuggets, uh, comet shards. You can also you can sell those for money, so you actually do make a good amount of money doing these terror battles. All right, next one. This is a four star uh, Rock Terra Raichu raid. <laughs> Some of these terror types don't really work well together, so I'm not going to catch this one. Really thing, really the only thing I would catch is I'm just kind of a snob, five star or higher. <laughs> Only the five-star Pokemon work for me. Oh, <laughs> nah, I don't. I'm not like that. <laughs> but I will Swords Dance on the first one just to. Yeah, he's already freaking Iron Hand so buff up right now. <laughs> he's not. He's not going to take much damage from this thing. But it is four-star. It is going to be. It's going to be noticeably difficult. 
since we've been doing three stars most of the time. Yeah, see, then good. Even after the sword stance, didn't get the knockout. I'm just gathering around right you. Also, if there are ever like terror raid events going on, you definitely want to take advantage of those. Oh wait, I'm electric. <laughs> yeah, he's an electric terror type, so he can't he can't get paralyzed. <laughs> also, definitely terra terrestrialize if uh, you get the opportunity to. Just so your attacks, if if it does strengthen your attacks, do it so that you can strengthen your attacks. Stop nuzzling me. Get punched. <laughs> Stop being adorable and fight me. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess that was enough. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know what, right, you're just gonna give up. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up, bro. You win. <laughs> let me let me live and I'll <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll leave now if you let me live. <laughs> Alright. And this one right here will be the last one I do. Just to, uh, I think we've illustrated the point enough how to do terror battles. <laughs> this is a uh, water tire type Houndstone. Houndstone is a pretty good Pokemon in this game just because of that one uh, I think one attack it has. Where every Pokemon that's knocked out does more damage. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like the last Pokemon that you don't want to go up against. <laughs> It's also, it's the last Pokemon you don't want to go up against, and it's also the last Pokemon you want to go up against. It's, yeah, it's weird. Okay. Sword Stance. But yeah, definitely use it last if you're going to use it. Great, that brings his attack down. <laughs> well, so much for Sword Stance. Screw it, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Forget you. Crap, there goes, oh, there goes the Darn you, knock it off. <laughs> I can keep doing this all day, bro. Swords dance. Yep. And uh grassy terrain is helping right now. Alright. See if we can end this in one shot. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, if you hit it hard enough, you, at that point you can bypass the the damage shield and then just end it quickly. That's what most people go for. And I'm glad I did that. And this one I will catch. I think I might have him already, but if he's got good if, uh, individual values, then I don't want to keep him. Also, it makes the video more entertaining. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good way to catch uh, some strong Pokemon, good way to get money, good way to get uh, experience candies, good way to get Terra Shards, really a good way to just enjoy the game. <laughs> yeah, we got Star Pieces on that one, look at that. Star Pieces, Muscle Feathers, Water Terra Shards, yeah, experience candies, all kinds of good stuff. And from here on, you can just go on and build like your, like your best team of Pokemon. And then join me on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for uh, Link Battle streams. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I'm going to get around to doing uh, Link Battle streams. Uh, probably after Pokemon Home comes out. Or uh, for, uh, for Scarlet and Violet. Alright, so let's take a look at everything we caught. So mainly the Pokemon we caught, like, three Pokemon. Wasn't that big of a... Eh, they weren't that strong. Delbird's level 75. But it just, yeah, <laughs> not that strong. Uh, Steeny, I think Steeny can learn acrobatics. The Houndstone, yeah, he has at least three best IVs. The Delbert has four. Steeny has three. So these are actually pretty decent. They have great stats. That wasn't the real reward from all from all this. Uh, we did get uh, experience. We got experience candies, which we can continue to feed Iron Hands. There we go, level up. <laughs> Eat my babies. 
And then we can always go to the uh, Pokemon Mart after we're done. And sell off whatever we don't need. For instance, yeah, all these uh, treasure items we have. This is just stuff I've gotten from, not, not only today, but just running around and finding stuff while I was looking for those raids. So we'll do a bulk sell off. Two bamboo shoots, five nuggets, one big nugget, mushrooms, all kinds of mushrooms, star pieces, pearls, big pearls, pearl strings, honey, pretty feathers, comet shards. All this totals up. Rare bones. We had a bunch of rare bones. I don't know where those came from. Sell those off. Look at that. 118,000 uh, money units, whatever they call them. Pokés. Yeah. <laughs> and we can sell off other stuff, too, we found. Like battle items. We don't, I don't even use these. Have you used them? I've never used them. I've used maybe the Poké Dolls to like, get away from a wild battle, but that's it. Sell those off. We got 500. Yep, 5,000. I mean, eventually that Pokémon you trained up is going to pay for itself. Uh, I don't really need to sell anything else. You also get mints, too. Those are good, too. You can sell those if you want. I won't, because I might need them one day. They're actually very good. Uh, you also get Terra Shards. You can sell those if you want. Again, I'm not crazy about selling them. I'd rather collect them. Try to get try to get 50 of each one, just so you can Terra... Uh, change the Terra type on any of the Pokemon you want. But, yeah, that's... Uh, ba basically, that's what the, that's what the post-game is. Terra Raid Battles... Link battles, uh, running around, roaming around, looking for stuff. Uh, I might make a team. You can make teams. You can make po different Pokemon teams. But really, that's kind of what the post game leads to. It's uh, it's more of a social game after that. So <laughs> it's not really for a single player. But that is, yeah, that is going to be a wrap on this entire Pokemon Violet series. Uh, I will be playing a lot, 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 lot more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, every Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern, where we'll be doing link battles. I already got teams ready for that, single and double battles. We also do multi battles too; those are fun. But uh, yeah, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos. Till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys.